It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. If I can have your attention, please, we'll continue with our uh, driver press conferences here for the Chevy Rock and Roll 400 at Richmond International Speedway, excuse me, Richmond International Raceway. Uh, we're pleased to be joined in the media center right now by Greg Biffle, driving the number 16 3M Ford. And uh, currently right now, Greg is sixth in points. And uh, certainly uh, uh, right on the cusp of uh, getting in the uh, chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. And uh, Greg, your thoughts uh, heading into tomorrow night's race? Well, I'm pretty uh, excited about it. It uh, looks like all we have to do is take the green flag. We're locked in right. uh, to our second chase, so we're, we're uh, the 16 team. Everybody uh, was really pumped up this week after our run at California and uh, certainly didn't end up off the uh, truck here like we wanted to be. We were the you know, slowest car for quite some time until we, we uh, got into qualifying trim, and then we, we picked it up in race trim and got into qualifying trim and got going a lot better today. So uh, looking forward to tomorrow night, uh, certainly. Um, you know, this racetrack isn't similar to Loudon, but hopefully we learn a little bit here that uh, we can carry Loudon and, and the first chase race uh, run decent, you know, and and because, uh, of course, the points are going to be all reset. So uh, that's our opportunity to, to, to start gaining on those guys. Questions now for Greg. If you have one, raise your hand. We've got a couple of wireless mics. Who's got a question for Greg Biffle? We've got here David, and then we'll go to Mike. Go ahead. Is there... David Polshaw is over, I'm sorry. Is there any way that a team can come into a race like this and not, I mean, I hate, you hate to use the term throwaway race, but, you, you know, you, if you start, you're in, and, and the only way you can gain anything is, is, is win the race, get bonus points. Um, you hear people say, you know, getting ready for the chase, getting ready for the chase. Do you, do, can you look past this race, or is that just a trap you can't afford to fall into because it will break your momentum or something? Yeah, I mean, a little both. Uh, I realized after the race in California, actually this week when I was thinking about, uh, you know, coming here, that it, it truly doesn't matter where I finish uh, tomorrow night. Um, that's kind of an unusual situation. I think it's the first time ever uh, in a points event for NASCAR race that it doesn't matter where I finish tomorrow night that uh, unless I win. Um, you know, that's the obvious thing, unless I win tomorrow night. Um, it's not really going to change my outcome. So, uh, one is we can try some things to uh, to the car, maybe do um, you know on pit stops and things like that, try and gain track position, do what we can do to try and win. We're going to do that. We do that every week, so we're not going to do anything different there. But uh, you're right. We can take a little bit of a gamble. Um, the other thing is, is well, with a limited amount of practice, we're already set to go for tomorrow night. So the car is all already done and it's set up, and and it's really about like we ran it in the spring, just a little bit different, uh, bar and shock package and whatnot. So uh, nothing real uh, off the wall there that we're going we're gonna to try for the, you know, learn something. So we're just going to go for it tomorrow night. Go with Mike next. Go ahead. Mike Mulhern, Winston-Salem Journal. On the Roush operation, Carl Edwards has been the, the guy everybody's been watching. I assume that you know what he's doing and he knows what you're doing and you probably – test each other's stuff around. Is he like a better driver this year, or does his stuff work better, or is he just a crazier driver? What's the difference between him winning six races and, and stuff that I assume that you could have too? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we often wonder about that. You know, uh, we, we attribute a lot of that to um, different crew chiefs approach things differently a little bit. Um, they, uh, the team assembles the car maybe a little bit differently. Um, you know, he likes, finds something he likes a little bit better. The cars are never identical, uh, it seems like. And it seems like each car has kind of its own personality, in fact. So even though our two cars have identical stuff in them, they still act a little bit different. It's still a little adjustment here and there, a little less wedge, a little more wedge. And, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, he, he's been better than us uh, this year. But uh, obviously last week was a testament that, you know, um, you know, we can end up better than he is, you know, better than the 99. And we were last week uh, by quite a bit better than the 99. So 
Uh, if it wasn't for the 48, we'd have looked like a hero because we had about a straightaway lead on second on third place the whole night, and uh, we just get that blue car, 48 car, out of the way up front. We would have would have looked like heroes. But uh, you know, we're getting there. Uh, we're definitely getting there, and uh, our setup was a fair amount different than than his in California. Uh, I just work on my car, work on my car, get it like I wanted to drive. We pay attention to what they're doing. Maybe try some stuff they're doing. But uh, our, our cars were not that close to California. And uh, we were ended up being better. Question right here. Go ahead. Uh, Jay Pennellhart for RaceFans.com. As you, as you mentioned, you know, next week points are reset. How do you, with, with Kyle Busch and, and, and Edwards with such a, with all the bonus points, how do you go after making up that ground? And what tracks do you see as your best opportunity to do that? Uh, a lot of the mile and a half, so they just hope that they're still pissed at each other, so that uh, maybe they'll be beating and banging and, you know, take care of themselves a little bit. But, uh, you know, some of my, my good tracks to go to, uh, I, I could tell you the two that, that aren't, and the rest are, are good tracks for me. And the two that, that we don't look forward to in the chase or I don't look forward to as a driver is uh, not that I don't like the track, I just don't run as well. Uh, there is one is Martinsville, and the other is Talladega. Not that I don't run good at Talladega. It's just that anything can happen there, and so it can go either direction. You know, those guys can be caught up in in that in the big one, or you know, something that got started and I can skim through it, or vice versa. You know, um, any one of those things can happen. So uh, last year was the first Talladega race I finished, so uh, that was pretty much a highlight of my career at Talladega.